Welcome guys, welcome back to the Bianconator Zone for a match reaction and Wow <laughs> But if you don't laugh you're gonna cry. Um I will start off with saying is anyone surprised? Me I'm not surprised, so for me it sucks, but I was prepared for it. I wanted to, I wanted to stay positive in the preview, saying we will win just because we have a better squad. But on that pitch, again, no surprises. And I will start off by saying people, or some, calling us negative on the channel for saying all the things that we saw now. We saw it. A few minutes ago, we saw what we were talking about it in the, on this channel, week in, week out, and people were saying you're negative. We are negative. No negative. It's just being realistic and not, I'm going to say it, not being deluded. This, this team... Is filled with overrated players. That's 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 for the starters. That's for that. that that's oh, that's one. The second part is men, men mentally, they're weak. They're embarrassing. A lot of them, shocking. Players you you should be looking up to, embarrassing on a man, like just mentality wise, embarrassing, shocking, absolutely shocking. And the third part is we're not a big club. I think people are still stuck in the past. We're not a big club. And that's the reality. We are a small club now. The, the, the last two seasons are saying we're struggling to make top four. And in the four, in the last four seasons in Champions League, we're getting beat by inferior teams. And not, not oh, unlucky beat. Like beaten down. Ajax, no chance. Porto, no chance. Lyon, no chance really. We gave it away early. Today, 3-0. 3-0 at home against Villarreal. Like, let that sink in. We lost 3-0 at home against Villarreal. I mean, I think people some don't, still don't want to understand that. This team is awful. It's just awful. And people are talking about the Scudetta and all. This team is awful. They're just bad. We have some good players. We have a lot of, a lot of bang average footballers who shouldn't be at this club. Who are getting long-term deals. And I'll name the players. The Chilio. All these players. Cuadrado. I keep saying it. It's not possible to replace them all in the summer, but giving deals 24, 25, it's embarrassing. And as long as the club will keep doing that, we will be here again next season, same thing. And then it will be, I don't know, again Porto, Benfica, name it. It will happen again, because this club is embarrassing. The way they work for certain players, the way they treat certain players is embarrassing. Now the game, we started off, wow, the first half we should have been up 2-0. I will say that, that was probably the best half of football we played this season. But we weren't, we weren't up 2-0. So that means absolutely nothing. Nothing. You had the chances. You didn't took the chances. That's it. It's football. You didn't take the, your chances. It's done. You cannot complain about it. You didn't take it. Move on. In the second half, we had the possession. We had nothing to show for it. Not even one decent shot on target. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. It was so comfortable in the second half of the day. They needed to do nothing. It was just four bank, two banks of four waiting with... One striker coming in, in in between the lines. Easy. Then you have Arthur in a position. The way he plays football, I can play football. He does nothing. He does absolutely nothing special. It's that unless of giving the ball away and keeping it very simple, slowing down play even more than it is already slow. He pushes up to he pushes up to the next level. So we have absolutely no creativity. Vlaovic, Monata, I felt sorry for them today. That's that. But the, the most important thing is, and we talked about it many times on this channel, this squad mentally is awful. They're weak. They're weak players. And you can see it. Rugani makes a mistake, a big mistake, again. And I know someone will say, ah, oh, Rugani, up to this day and up to that moment, he was playing well. But you cannot make that mistake you make at this level. You just can't. At that, at that moment of the game, you can't. He made a stupid mistake, an, an awful mistake, again. That's why he is a fourth option, a third option. But for now, he's the first option because, because of injuries. He played well this season and up to that moment. But he messed up. And you cannot do that. He messed up. 1-0. Okay, still 50 minutes to go. And then what happens? This team crumbles. It crumbles. It falls, it falls down like a house of cards. Embarrassing at this level for this club. Like, there are no words just an embarrassing. They, sh they should be ashamed of themselves. You crumble. 
you absolutely crumble. Corner, again, you let the ball, ball, the ball go past. At, uh, towards the end, Danilo giving the ball away, putting the leg in an awful dis- situation. Again, again, this, this team is s- s- such a bad... <laughs> I don't actually know what to say. <laughs> because at one point, like at one part, I'm not surprised this happened. Like, I, I'm not, not even surprised. I'm not even really angry. I'm not. Because it's not, it's not a big shock. I'm not surprised. I'm actually not surprised. And that maybe for some, that feel weird. Because some are ultra positive. Even when we play awful. And, and they were saying, oh, 15 games on beaten streak. And all those things. Again, awful teams where we even drop points against awful teams. A lot of points. We dropped a lot of points against awful teams. And people will keep hammering on those 15 games unbeaten and... We on the channel, we kept saying it's a false image. It's a false image. It's going to come down rather sooner sooner than later. It's going to come down. And you've seen it. It's come down. Because this team, it was just a mask. 15 games unbeaten. What what, that, what does that even mean when you're fourth place? What I don't know what that means. Good. That's what you need to do. But I'm not going to hype it up. Because I've seen the performances you put in there. They're awful. They're not good enough. They're just not good enough. And some of these players, and I'll keep saying it. And people say, oh, but the Shilo is a good utility player. Contract until 25. Dan- Quadrado, 24. No, no, no. Danilo, give him a new deal. No. Why? Why do we keep doing this as a club? And as long as... And again, that was not the main issue today. But that's part of the problem. That's just part of the problem. We're playing in a Champions League tie. Again, Villarreal's backline wasn't better. I'm not saying that. But if you want to dominate and put games away, our backline... Was Danilo, De Ligt, Rugani, De Chilo. Let that sink in for our club. That was our back line. And we're going to hand out new contracts to some of them. It's just not good enough. I don't know what to say. Like, I think the, the, the sooner people will realize we're not a big club. And we're, we're a small club now. We're just a small club. That's what it is. We're not a big club anymore. We don't act like a big club. You get Vlaovic, great, but then you turn around and give contract, big contracts, long-term deals to bang average footballers. You're not a big club. And it shows. There's a reason why you... It's not a coincidence. It's not one fluke like what the hell happened. It's four years. Four years. It's not one year. It's not like it happened this year, now, and it's like, what the hell happened? It's four years. I think people need to remember that. It's been four years, three different coaches, a lot of the same players. So yeah, I'm not shocked. It, it's actually... I don't want to be right. Nobody wants to be right when you need when you lose games. But we've said it. It's coming because this, this team stinks. It stinks. All these, all these talk about, oh, if you forget about the, four, the first four games, uh, you're, uh, you're, di- you're first in the league. I'm like, okay, well, what does that mean? All these bullshit stats that people cling on to and throw at you when you try to be realistic... Are now coming back to hunt you. It is what it is. We said it. We said it. And now I hope a lot of people will see it. Because if you don't see it today. You will never see it. And you're going to be. You're going to accept mediocrity. Because some people are accepting mediocrity. Some people are accepting average players at this football club. Just because they're fit. Just because they're a good vibe in the locker room. Just I don't know what the reason is. But some people are accepting that. I will never do that on the channel. I will never do that. And I've, I, since I come on, I've never done that. If you're not good enough, I don't care who you are, what you have done for the club uh, the past years. If you're not good enough for a long period of time, it's done. Th- that's how it works at a top club. But we, we hand out contracts. We play like this week in, week out. In the Champions League, four years, same result. Same thing happened. No chance, basically. It's embarrassing. Like, let that sink in. We lost at home to Villarreal. 3-0. 3-0 when we when you just needed to win that game. 1-0. We lost. 3-0. Let that sink in. And up to the penalty, they had absolutely nothing. And we still managed to lose 3-0. I, I think that needs to be the title of the show. No chances. Still losing 3-0. Giving away nothing. Losing 3-0. And now we are at the, un- at the end of the other one. Like, people were hyping it up. Oh, no shots on target. But we win... 3-0 at Sampdoria, whatever it was, 1-3, happy days. Now Villarreal did the same thing. 
we are on the other end now. So, what's the streak telling you? I'm not shocked. I'm, ac I'm actually not shocked. That's why I'm not angry, because I'm not shocked. I... I'm, um... I'm not shocked. I'm actually not shocked. Not even angry anymore. It's like, just frustra frustra frustrated, because I'm actually watching this, and I basically know what's coming. That's to certain, like, I was like around the 65 minute, I think it was 60, maybe 70 minute. I was like, this is not going, going to end well because we have possession. We have absolutely no idea what to do with the ball. It was so easy for Valeria. We had absolutely no clue what to do with the ball. Arthur slowed down play. Cuadrado, he couldn't put in a cross to save his life. Always the same things. Like, Valeria were laughing their ass off. They knew one chance is coming and we will take it and then it's done. And they, do, and they did that. All those 15 games streak and all those things, all those positivity around the club, all gone down the drain. Because the negativity and the pressure on around the club now is going to be immense. It's going to be worse than losing, than having two points out of 12 at the start of the season. It's going to be worse. And we will struggle big time now, from now until the end of the season. Because these players are already mentally weak. And now with this, they will crumble even more. They will crumble against teams you, you think, how, you, you do, how did you do that? Like today, how did you lose 3-0 to Villarreal? But it's going to happen because it's the same players. It's the same week thing, week in, week out. We just got away with results. Many results where you're like, how did we even win this game? We shouldn't, like, we don't deserve to win the game. We did that. And now it's coming back to haunt us. Because this team is just awful. Overall, it's just awful. And players wanting to leave, I don't blame them. Good players actually wanted to leave. I don't blame them. The club is actually actively trying to renew players, average players, players on their decline. They're actually trying to renew them to long-term deals. Just because they have a good vibe. Experience. I've seen the experience today. Well done. Well done. So yeah. I don't know what else what to say. Like I'm not gonna yell and scream on the match reaction because I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not shocked. I knew this was coming. I knew this was coming and people were calling me negative. Negative. And people texting us. People with <coughs> influence. People working in the media. Some of them. <coughs> texting me. Saying, ah, oh, the channel is negative. That's not good. All this thing. We do what the hell we want. We create it. If you don't like, don't watch. If you want to say something different, create your channel. Say what you want or text me and we bring you on the channel and you can say whatever you want and you can try to convince me we are negative and not realistic and this was actually good and we should be proud of it and we shouldn't be angry of this. If you want to do that, reach out. Reach out to me, Julian, Justin. We're happy to have you on. But I don't want to hear anyone saying we're negative anymore because look at that. We lost 3-0 to Villarreal and that's that. So yeah, I don't know. I think that's it for this video because I don't know what else to say. The game spoke for itself. It spoke for, for itself. Um, on to Salernitana, I guess. Fighting for a four place. Great. Until uh, the summer. Until May. Great. And even that, I, I still keep saying, you shouldn't be giving it away. But this will have a big, big impact on these players. It will. It absolutely will. 3-0 against Villarreal. That's it. And that's how we're going to end the video. So, thanks everybody for watching. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And we will see you, I don't know, in the next one, I guess. Ciao.